Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at degrees of freedom and motion path. These are two important concepts that you need to familiarize yourselves with if you're interested in suspension kinematics. Now, for the purpose of this video, we are going to be talking about only independent suspension systems. Now, if you take an independent suspension system, the wheel motion relative to the body follows a single prescribed path. Now, this is what you call as the motion path of your suspension system. Here, we are primarily talking about how the knuckle actually moves up and down. Now, when we say a single prescribed path, what do I mean? Well, it doesn't matter if there are changes in camber, caster or toe. Your knuckle is always going to move along this prescribed path. Now, let's talk about degrees of freedom here. Degrees of freedom in general tell how a body can actually move, right? So, if you take a solid body in general, it has six degrees of freedom. It can translate along x-axis, y-axis, z-axis and it can also rotate along these three directions. Now, when we're talking about independent suspension systems, you have only one prescribed path, meaning along the other five directions, you're actually restraining it or you're constraining it. In other words, it is safe to say that for an independent suspension system, you have only one degrees of freedom. Alright, with that, I would like to conclude this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.